In the Abbey, there have been changes in the domestic staff below stairs. The latest arrival, Grant the Underbutler, is being tutored in the age-old routines of stately home life by Roger the Butler. You won't like me to put my fingers on it, but yeah, <laughs> it's nice. It's just that they're all clean, yeah. and when you know when they've been used and they've been washed, then they just need polishing up. Polishing up, yeah, yeah and buffed. Yeah. So if they're never allowed to tarnish, then it's much easier to, much keep, easier them to keep them clean. So you don't really have to use the silver polish on No, them. not a lot. How's Grant getting on? Well, I think he's settling in quite well, actually. For someone who's come from remote area of Scotland and to come down to a buzzing place like this, you know, he's done very well. It's not easy necessarily to fit into this kind of setup on an estate like this, is it? Well, it, it takes a while for people to accept you. You've really got to fit in. It's no good coming to a place like this unless you, you do fit in. It's a place you've got to, to want to be here. Did you pick them up? Yeah, we took him out last night, actually, for his first time, I think. Managed to get him down to a couple of local pubs. He had some few cokes and that. Drove us home, actually. We drank too much, so... Does he not drink at all? No. Nah. Not yet, anyway. Have you had to learn new things about the, about the job? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically like um, starting from scratch. Almost. I've got the foundations, but I'm just building on top of that. And for example, if it started to having a smoked trout, see this cutlery is 18th century Georgian, but there wasn't a fish knife with, knife with the set because it, um, it would turn black because of the fish, so therefore they used two forks. Is that because it's solid silver? Yes. So are you still convinced you're going to spend your life in service? Is that still what you want yeah, to do? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think so. As a deal with the Ravers seems more certain, the family have decided that their heads of departments be informed of developments. <laughs> Please sit down. <laughs> right, we'll just start off with a, um, a few updates. Um, Bill, I spoke to um, Glyn Jenkins of Exeter's last night, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to arrange a couple of meetings, one in a couple of weeks' time, they're going to come over here, a few of them like they did before, and we're going to go and look around the site. working lunches are held in the butler's pantry. Oh, day lilies. And they're just set on a vase which we actually have a solution that looks like water now. So oh. as you glance across it looks as if it's... Um, that doesn't look enough for three. Just <laughs> 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 right. pray, right. Heavy, <laughs> <laughs> are, your arm, are your arms giving out? <laughs> Would you like me to be quicker? <laughs> Wherever they are on the estate, Lord and Lady T insist on being kept informed of any news. Hello. They found one. Woburn's own art collection is fabulous. The 24 pictures in the Canaletto room is the biggest collection in the world. Nearby, one of the most famous pictures in England, Gower's 1589 Armada portrait of Elizabeth I. Another room is devoted to the 18th century portrait painter, Sir Joshua Reynolds. 
and in the family's private drawing room, works by Rembrandt and Van Dyck. Beneath, the work of one of the family's favorite contemporary artists, the wildlife painter Colin Chandler. The aristocratic tradition of the patronage of artists continues with Lord and Lady T, which is why they've agreed to open Colin Chandler's new exhibition. Thank you.